Good morning, modern steaders. Good morning. It is a nice, brisk 40 degrees out this morning. It is foggy, and we melted some snow last night. Sure did. <laughs> Today is a big day. The well guys are supposed to be coming up and hooking up all the inside stuff so we can get our well pump turned on and have running water. I said should be because I don't know how muddy that road's going to be this morning. And I'm hoping their truck can get up it. I hope it's fine. fine. It will be fine. We gotta do our chores and then we can get up there to meet the guys. Good morning, peeps. I'm gonna feed you over here where there's like some grass. Can you believe that? I know, right? Get them turning some compost. Come on, boys. You liking this spring weather? Say it makes us rowdy. Man, that'd give me a headache. Alright, it's going to be interesting to see how the road is this morning. When it stays warm like this overnight with fog, stuff really starts to break up. And all that, all that frost is going to be coming out of the ground. We are flooded pretty good over here with everything melting. But the road is looking good. that goes down because we're supposed to be getting a half inch of rain tomorrow. So that's going to be interesting to say the least. All right, that wasn't quite as bad as I thought it was going to be. There was a few spots that were pretty greasy, but we didn't really sink too bad. I stopped because I noticed the culvert defrosted, so now all the water is running down and going down the way it's supposed to. Yesterday it was up frozen and all the water was running up and over the road this way. So, that is good. Gina is not feeling good this morning, so I don't know if she's going to be coming up today or not. I hope she doesn't just because I could tell she wasn't feeling good. So I'm hoping she stays home today and takes it easy. I had to run out yesterday and pick up a few more plumbing fittings. When I did, I picked up a couple of rubber caps. So that way, when we get the toilet hooked up, we don't have to worry about any obnoxious fumes coming in. It's gonna be so nice to have running water up here. It's been five months since we've had the well drilled. It'll also be nice to get the well hooked up to test out the solar system. So it'll be interesting to see how everything works with each other. I hear the truck, so they were able to make it up. That's a good thing.
All right, I just got done powering up the breaker. Let's turn it on. I heard it kick on over at the pump. And now we will check it and make sure that we have water while they're still here. Oh, that feels so good to have water now, the off-grid house. This has been five months in the making, five months ago, almost to date, I think it's like five months in one week, they drilled the well, and I forget how deep they went, it was like 500 feet or 500 and something feet deep. So we drilled that, that took a few days, and they came back, we did the water line down and in, and then the water line and the power's all been sitting in here. We've just been waiting to get it hooked up, I was hoping to get it hooked up sooner, but we didn't get the outdoor boiler hooked up and we weren't heating in here with that. So I didn't feel comfortable getting the water lot inside installed until I knew either it's warm enough that we're not worried about it freezing when it's like negative 20. We can keep it warm in here with our electric heater. So now we have our water. I gotta get a fitting to tee in to supply water to the house. And then we can rough plumb the house up we need to go outside and check out the frost-free hydrant. When we had them do the water line, we had them put the water line into the house. We had them do a frost-free hydrant up by the well head. So when we're watering our animals, we have water outside. Oh, I wish Gina was feeling better and that she was here to share this moment. Cause this is big water at the off-grid property. It's one of those things that there's been a lot of projects here that have been slowly unfolding that you have to plan in advance. So it's nice when some of them start to, I don't want to say pay off, but you start seeing the bigger picture of it. Sheesh. That'll do. That's got some good pressure. Look at that. I'd say that's working. Yep, let's get some good pressure. So that's a frost-free hydrant. It drains back into the ground four feet or five feet below ground level. So that way in the winter time, we can use it. We don't gotta worry about that freezing on us. <clears throat> Water's been a big thing on the homestead. We have the well and then up over there we did a gravity fed water system. We have a hydrant over there and one over there and then one down by that IBC tote. And that is all gravity fed. We want to make sure we have plenty of water here on the homestead for the different animals depending on where they are around the area. Inverters are running. I'm not sure if you can hear those or not. You probably can. We're making power. That's a good sound when you're on solar.
I like that right there. We got a little bit of an uphill pitch. I want to go over to there. All right, it won't hurt my feelings any. When we have this all done. How relieved I am that the well guys were able to get up here. <sighs> it gets pretty muddy every once in a while, it being as warm as it was last night. It had me concerned. I'm sure that truck has some weight on it. So we got our bathroom vent coming up, over, coming back over, connecting into our three inch main vent. And the three inch main vent comes from back there, over, down, and then we're gonna stub it out the wall. I need to get this glued up first before we stub it out the wall. I have the pieces to go out the wall and let it breathe. I don't wanna do that until we have all this glued up, but I need to run out and we'll be back in the morning to finish this up. We're down here by the creek again and we got a little bit of an ice dam going on we have a culvert here and a culvert there going over and running out that has me a little concerned because we're supposed to be getting like a half inch or more of rain tomorrow so i wonder if i can bust that up at all and get that flowing better
All right, there, the ice dam is all broken up. I had a lot of fun doing it too, so that's even better. But I feel a lot better now about this water flowing. And it'll probably even drop some of this level. But we don't have to worry about it being dammed up. Because what could happen is the ice is the ice could block all of those culverts and then just rise it and then it could wash up over the road with all the rain we're getting. And we don't need that happening. So that makes me feel a lot better. Well, unfortunately, it's stuck with just me again today. Gina, still not feeling good this morning, so she won't be up here at the off -grid property today. Ooh. And I was able to run out and get a couple of the things we need to finish up that vent pipe. And then I got some more plumbing goodies so we can stop roughing in the plumbing in the house now that we have the well water inside. There, I ended up picking up the right clamp. I hope, yeah, for here. So we can just boom, get those on after. That one will hold it up temporarily. For now. Come on. You know you want to. Oh. Eek. Holy smokers. Like, that just slipped my knuckle. I don't know if you can see that or not, but man. We're going to be bleeding out over here before we know it. Tell you what, that's a good little cut. All right, before we glue this up, I want to drill the hole going outside and get that done so we can make sure everything's lined up for that hole as we're gluing up back there. I gotta go see if I can find a band aid. That thing is bleeding good. I haven't even started working today. That's nothing, but it's one of those ones that just wants to keep on bleeding. Why can we keep a little first aid kit in the truck? And I'm just gonna find the band-aids. It's like a big paper cup. We need to drill through the wall right here so we can get out. And I'm gonna end up cutting this back some more so that this fitting's not so close to the wall.
get outside. We're in. Make sure this is waterproof. I'm gonna use some of our zip stretch tape and go around it. made my own little J channel so later on we got to do our siding our siding can go behind this and you won't see it we got an inch up and around all the way and then we can paint this whatever color we need to now I just need to put my cap on here now we have our stink pipe all installed that feels good I like that. Boy, does it feel good to be making the progress we've been making up at the off-grid property. Seeing that water run, that took about five months in the making. I just wish Gina was feeling better and she could have been there. So hopefully she's feeling better tomorrow and you guys will see her. So thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Share it. All those things really help. And we'll see you guys right back here in the next video. Bye.